So I've got two mystery boxes. I have one that came from the company, that Spider-Man booth. It is a $30 comic book mystery box with, I think it's got like five comics in it. You've got possibilities of actually hitting something halfway decent. But then I also have a $100 Toy USA, I'm not sure if it's CGC, but a graded comic book mystery box. 100 bucks gets you one comic book that's been graded. I think they are usually through CGC, but there might be like PGX or CBCS, but it's probably CGC, $100. And we're going to open up both of these in this video. We're going to start with the small one first, the $30 mystery box, and then do the $100 mystery box with one comic book in it. One. So this one is the company, that Spider-Man booth. I purchased from this company several times now, and I've never been let down by the value in these boxes. But there's the box. It says, I feel like Peter, like Peter Parker, that Spider-Man booth. Usually, if, if like you get a big hit, it's usually either bubble wrapped or it's turned upside down. Okay, I don't see anything turned upside down or bubble wrapped, so there's no big hit in, in this box, but it's okay. It's okay. Usually, the best hit is on top, so we'll save that for last. First comic book in this box. We have Black Panther. That's a cool cover. Uh, we got Marvel number seven. Villains variant edition Black Panther. Very cool cover. Just a comic book, probably worth just a common comic book, probably worth about five, six bucks or so. That's the first one. Second one. This one's a little bit a little bit heavier. Oh cool. The return of Spider-Man Unlimited guest starring the Black Cat. Oh, this is neat. It says it sells for four dollars. Just another like common comic book probably worth like five or six bucks that was neat okay we got three left in this one third one who we got silver surfer a new beginning that's a cool this one's from december of 1996 this is silver surfer number 123 this one might actually have a little bit of value to it silver surfer from december of 96 I'd look that that one up on eBay just to see the value of that one. Next one, number four. We've got a uh, we've we've got a variant cover, Justice Justice League Dark Five variant cover. That's cool. Retail price of four bucks. Probably worth honestly probably about ten, maybe as high as fifteen dollars for that one. Here's the last one. This one will be like the big hit. All the big hits in each box. They always put the like the the uh, comic price guide price on it so you kind of know how much it's worth and here we go last one oh 50 bucks i'm not sure which comic that is drawn a blank that is kind of like a virgin cover without any kind of branding or title but it says it's worth about 50 bucks if you know who this is what comic this is please feel free to comment down below because i'm honestly not too sure but it says it's worth 50 bucks. So they're usually pretty accurate on those prices. Silver Surfer, issue number 123. I'm looking at actually sold listings. So it looks like it sells for as high as like 10 bucks. But actually in that one, this one's actually my favorite out of those five. So for 30 bucks, I think I actually got pretty good value out of that box for $30. But that is that Spider-Man booth. They... Uh, are a newer company I think out of California and I buy their boxes at least once a week and I, I always get for 30 bucks it's always good value I mean I've never been unhappy with that spider-man booth I've never been unhappy with them so here we go here's the big one $100 and it is one comic book one graded comic book I'm gonna go ahead let me pull up the actual what is possible in this because there's several that I could possibly get Okay, so some of the top hits, if I can actually can, I can't really even see the pictures that well. But you've got like uh, Conan number 52, Spider-Man number 64 with some first appearances, Thor number 3 something. But you've got a total, of, actually I think they only did a total of 10 boxes this time. So they only have 10. Looks like they actually are all CGC graded. 
whenever I get out, I'm going to have to look it up just to see how much it's actually worth. Because just by looking at pictures, I'm not too sure what the top hit's going to be. But with these $100 boxes, usually how it works out is like one comic book is worth maybe like double or triple the overall price. Then everybody else usually gets back about $75 or so. You'll, you'll lose usually like 25% of your money. There's been a couple times though, I've gone out some where I lost half my money on these boxes. But usually, if you don't get the main top hit, you usually lose about $25. And they come double boxed. Taped on all three sides still. Here we go, $100 comic book graded mystery box. This is a high roller box, this is not for everybody. Because you have pretty much have a 90% chance you're gonna lose money. You've got a 10% chance you're going to get something out that's halfway, you know, that's more than what you paid. Everything's gonna be good stuff, but you have a 10% chance of actually getting more than what you paid. So the odds are not in your favor for the Toy USA graded comic book mystery boxes, they are not in your favor. So unless you're kind of like a gambler mentality where you don't mind to lose a little bit of money, a good chance you're going to, then you know buy them. But if you don't like to lose a little bit of money with the possibility of return, then go ahead and take a chance. But I can't, I think, I think that's the front right there. Yeah, I think that's, that's the back. So here we go. $100 CGC graded comic book mystery box, one comic, Toy USA. 10% chance I don't lose my money. You ready for the big reveal? Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, I still have not seen it yet. I'm actually looking down. You guys are seeing this thing first. So hopefully right now you're saying, oh cool, that's awesome, that's a good one. Because I still have not seen it, I'm looking down. Here we go, big reveal. Okay, it was one of the top five hits, Conan the Barbarian, number 57. It's actually graded pretty much a perfect 9.8. This is December of 1975, graded 9.8. I think I actually did really well. I think I did I think I did pretty well on this one. Off white to white pages graded 9.8. 9.8 is pretty much like a gym mint grade. So I think I did well on this one. I think I think I did well. This is no first appearance of anybody as far as I know. Usually it'll say up here if it's like a first appearance or key issue. But I think this is just an older comic with a perfect gym mint grade. Let me see how much this thing's worth. So on eBay, I'm looking at completed listings. The only sold one that I actually see that CGC graded, I see a, it sold back on June 23rd, almost two months ago. It was graded a 9.6, which is pretty much like mint condition, and it sold for 40 bucks. So 9.8, if a 9.6 sold two months ago for 40 bucks, then I'm guessing 9.8, probably like between 60 and 80 dollars so i pretty much i mean i lost the the normal amount you're going to lose i lost about 25 bucks then i bet so looking it up ungraded copies of this that is not graded and slabbed they sell for about <laughs> like between three and five dollars so ungraded this doesn't sell for very much it's literally it sold new for a quarter what 25 35 like 44 years ago i think if, if i did my math right 43 44 years ago and right now if it is ungraded on ebay it's sold for three dollars five dollars four dollars four dollars three dollars so it has an average selling price ungraded of only four dollars so nobody grades this comic because it's pretty much it's not desired there's only one that sold in the past 90 days that's been graded. Only one. And it sold for 40 bucks. A 9.6, 9.8. I'm seeing on eBay a Barbarian number 52 from a few months before this, a 9.8 that sold for 
And that also is not a key issue. So it looks like this is probably worth about 75 to $80. eBay, eBay value, eBay value. If you look it up like a comic price guide, they would list this thing much, much, much higher than what eBay does because comic price guides go by actual retail, like store, shop, resell, shop prices, which they always mark them up a lot more than what they sell for on eBay. But I'm, I'm just going by eBay value. eBay value, this is worth about $75 to $80. So I lost between 20 and 25 bucks on this box. So, oh well. It's a gamble you take. And I got out a nice, nice graded comic 9.8, which is fantastic grade. But I don't want it, so it will be for sale. I will be selling it. I don't collect Conan, so I kind of wish it would have been a Marvel. Oh well. I'll try again next time, so I'll see you next time. I'm out.